This is a review of Aladdin, the making of an animated film. This book came out in 1992 to coincide with the release of the movie. Um, it actually came out in a, with a few different covers. There was this one that we're looking through, which is the paperback. There was also a hardcover version, and also another paperback version that came as part of a like a deluxe collector's edition for the VHS. But all three versions are exactly the same, it's just the covers that are different. So I think the most important thing to understand straight away with this book is that this is not an art book. You might have already gathered that based on the title, but I have seen a lot of people referring to this as the art of Aladdin or people who are disappointed that it's not an art book. Now of course there is art in the book um, but only a couple of pieces of a sort of like really nice concept art. The majority is um, black and white sort of layout or character sketches things like that and pretty much all of those are basically just as they appear in the movie not sort of like showing the um, design evolution of characters and locations things like that. So you definitely don't want to come to this book thinking that it's going to be um, um, like the other Disney art of books. But despite that, this is still a very, very special book for a few reasons. The first of which is the fact that it is a making of book for an animated movie, which is, is very rare. Usually we only get art books and, you know, they'll have like... Um, some sort of accompanying text commentary from the designs explaining things. Whereas compared to those books, this is much more like the sort of um, behind the scenes making of book that we would see for a, you know, like a live action movie. And I think this is really cool because there are tons of books on the animation process. In fact, there are tons of books by Disney on the animation process. But I really like this one because it is using uh, the movie as a case study for the animation process. So each chapter will be on something like layout, backgrounds, sound, character design, story, all that sort of stuff, and how all that stuff actually manifests in a movie. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean the book is any sort of like um, how-to textbook on animation. As I said, there are already other resources for that sort of thing, whereas with this book, it is still very much about providing um, and background anecdotes specifically for Aladdin. Even though it's not especially in-depth, it's quite a, a quick read. I was still really impressed by the quality of the text. I kind of thought that because it's a, a bit of an older book and it's, you know, it comes from Disney, it might be a bit more uh, geared a bit more towards children or all ages, like a very dumbed down sort of how animated movies are made. Thankfully, the the style of writing is very much geared towards um, an older crowd. Another thing this book has a lot of that you don't really see in animation books is um, a lot of behind the scenes photos. Now, maybe they are a bit boring, you know, it's usually just like people sitting at a drawing board or sitting, you know, in offices, things like that. It's not very interesting imagery, but I actually really like it because you don't get to usually see a lot of that stuff. And it's, and I don't know, I, I just find something really cool about sort of seeing inside the studio, seeing the people actually in the act of making these movies. Would it have been better if they had have used less of this and more art? Yes, of course, but these behind the scenes photos are certainly not a bad consolation prize. I think the main reason I find this book very special in sort of terms of a uh, Disney history or the history of art and making of books is because, think about it, pretty much every single animated movie that comes out nowadays has some sort of um, behind-the-scenes book, typically an art book, but this book on Aladdin was really the very first. At the time, art books for movies really didn't exist. There were books for the original Star Wars trilogy, um, and that was about it. Or you would get sort of um, company compilations like The Art of Disney or like The Art of Hanna-Barbera or some sort of retrospective, but certainly not a, a behind-the-scenes book to coincide with the release of a movie. And so it was around this sort of turn of the 90s period that we started to see um, books being released to tie into movie releases with but still very very rarely they were always sort of like making of books but kind of just like glorified magazines and you'd only get them for you know maybe a movie like Batman or something and so for Little Mermaid there was no art or making of book for Beauty and the Beast no art or making of book although an art and making of book did come out for Beauty and the Beast um, much later I have done a review on that in the past and so for whatever reason um, 
something about Aladdin obviously inspired them to really kick off this trend of um, releasing behind the scenes books for their animated movies. Now of course the direction for these books changed a lot um, with the focus very much being on the art of and they're a lot sort of bigger nicer books but um, this is really where it sort of started. And so even though I think it's a really good book in and of itself, um, that I think adds an extra layer of importance for Disney fans, fans of animation in general. And even though it might not be as impressive as the books we've come to expect today, I would still absolutely recommend it to any fans of the movie. Also, if you're just interested in some other Aladdin-related books, there's a book on the Broadway musical Disney does... Um, some pretty nice behind-the-scenes books for their, their Broadway musicals, and one came out a couple of years ago for Aladdin. And for the upcoming live-action adaptation, there is an art and making of Aladdin book based on pretty much every one of Disney's live adaptations so far. I'm not exactly expecting this to be a particularly great movie, but at least there's a chance we might get a nice art and making of book out of it.